so I will demonstrate it quickly. Gudnar, what's the verse? Okay. Okay, I'm not sorry. Dear students, um, mm -hmm. welcome to my lesson and try to speak in English. Okay. okay. Uh, even you are uh, okay. even you are making a mistakes in your sentences in your speech. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it. Okay. I said mm -hmm. could you send it to Valia? Yeah, yes, yes, I can. I will then I will start. Uh, first, I want to tell you about imagination and why it's uh, important for our children. Yeah, imagination has a lot of proven benefits. It encourages creatively and innovative thinking. Uh, without imagination playing its part, uh, children, people wouldn't be able to come up with new ideas or inventions that help advance our society as a whole. And reading is a key part of enhancing imagination. Uh, and reading is good for us, for us, for children. Uh, there's no denying that for sure. Our brains uh, need to be kept active in order to stay healthy. And reading uh, literature is a great exercise for the mind, for our mind, for children's mind. Yeah, the more uh, you we. The more we read, the better we can concentrate and the better we will be able to imagine ideas and new concepts. And now I want to share with some activities that you can use uh, when you teach literature for children. For example, uh, you can look uh, for children's books where young characters have a similar problem. You should read them together and act out some scenes from the books. And uh, also, you can use a lot of games. Uh, can be a lot of games can be adapted to suit a favorite book. And fairy tales are wonderful for it. You can take a standard hide and go seek game and add some characters, say a giant or a witch, and seeking as many um, characters as you you have. And also. Wait a minute. Mm. Also, what kind of activities you can use? For uh, now, I want to share you some activities for building imagination, your children. And the first activity is called. Uh, in the first activity, you, you, you should give pictures for your children, yeah? And they should make a story according to this picture. I think it's really engaging and will be funny for um, each level. And second activity is you will just give uh, flashcards with words like pirate, map, monkeys, treasure, alligators, and snake. And uh, using these words, they will make a story, yeah? And it will develop the imagination. And uh, after making story, they can uh, read uh, a, a prepared story and compare them. And the last activities that you can use in teaching literature is called draw the story. Uh, you should ask uh, your children, how did the story begin? And uh, what will the ending be? Mm. And they will draw and tell about it. So, it's really fun, I think. And if you will use it, you will develop uh, the imagination. Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks all for your quick demonstration and short, brief information. So, in your opinion, how can we um, make an effort to our students? 
to develop their imaginations? Okay, first of all, we should uh, you, uh, choose uh, a good story or book for their level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we should uh, first do prayer reading activities. Uh, then while reading, we should ask some question. And after uh, reading, we can show some pictures according uh, the story and they will compare how uh, if they um, imagine it correctly, maybe. Okay, thanks a lot. So let's continue our lesson. Who is next? Can I? Fatima. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, Fatima. Fatima. Yes. I will demonstrate your present presentation. Fatima, mm -hmm. the same part. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, as you know, this is a uh, question. Uh, it calls Victoriana, and I hear you should um, choose one of these tasks, and uh, I will ask you some kind of questions. Okay, can I choose? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, column number three, uh, point thirty. This one. Uh -huh, that one. Uh, but as you know, uh, we haven't any. Uh, we haven't enough time, so I. I made mm -hmm. little on the first level. Yes. Uh, okay. Just choose the one on on the column. Ten. Okay. <laughs> what is the imagination? Okay. Mm -hmm. And who will answer? Teacher, will you answer or should we? I don't know. Should I answer? Should you an answer? Yeah, you should answer. <laughs> you should. I have to answer because that was my choice. Yeah. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Quite interesting. Okay. You are you are giving a task you know, for the task giver. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, someone said me. Mm. Could we ask answer for this question? Yeah. Okay, Ralia, give an answer then instead of uh, me. Uh, what is the uh, imagination? Imagination is, is uh, so essential to meaningful uh, reading that national um, endowment for the art uh, levels, uh, reading and act requiring great uh, resources of memory, imagination, um, and um, the, the intent questioning. So it's the answer of this question. According to the mental phenomena of human being, imagination is a uh, skill of human uh, to create the world in his mind <coughs> to give a picture because of imagination we did many invention yeah we have okay, um, thanks a lot. So, Fatima, mm -hmm. one, please. be quick can i, uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, can I choose Alia. yeah I feel which one? Uh, 30, level 130. <clears throat> um, how many characters you have imagination? Uh, six. So is she right? Fatima. There are six. Okay. Yeah. I said, can you name them? Um, so. Um, 
the first one. The next one. Okay, students, why there are so many noises? Yeah. The second one constructs learning opportunities that leads effectively to worldwide artistic understanding. Okay, keep going, Fatima. Uh, can I? Mm -hmm. Okay, Parhat. Which one? Which one? Thirty levels or thirty? No, no. You can uh, you can choose the level one, yeah, and uh, the thirty. Forty. I still, 40. Was, I still choose the thirty. Forty. Okay, yeah. forty. What does teaching for imagination give? Um, Teaching for imagination give space for education as opposite the training maybe. Fatima, is it correct? Yes, uh, yes you're right. Uh, can I choose uh, uh, a lot of advantages mm, that imagination gives us? Yeah? yeah. Yes, it is one of them. Okay. I forgot which one. Uh, 50. What, what is educa educative activity? Because it's a, not the right answer. So. Okay. Uh, difficult and challenging question because it is 50, yeah? Yes. Uh, I think uh, open-ended questioning uh, to uh, stimulate imagination. Mm, yeah, in short, open-ended question. Open-ended question. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Can I? Yeah. Okay, last question, Jasmina. Mm, no, yeah, so, plenty. Who suggests Im uh, imagination forms a bright bridge between the readers? Senses and uh, thoughts. Yes, uh, uh, some kind of profession. <laughs> yes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was uh, okay. what imagines forms between uh, bridge between the readers' senses. Mm, could you repeat your answer? I can hear um, the noise. Uh, the answer is Hannah Ford. Oh, yeah. Hannah Ford, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, Between the reader sense. Okay, dear students, thank you for participating for these questions. Uh, and the teacher, Zara, uh, I send you uh, the whole um, mm -hmm. questions. Uh, Zara, only uh, level one. Because our time is limited. Okay, thank you, both of you. You are welcome. Uh, next one, Ken, uh, describe or Talk about girls, Finish. are you here? Fatima. Uh, uh, okay. Fatima, are you finished? Yes, yes. Okay, thanks a lot. The next student. Uh, teacher, please, uh, I want to uh, ask uh, to remark the uh, students who answered my questions. Okay, and write the names of the students in the mm -hmm. chat. Uh, I write you on WhatsApp, okay? Okay. WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who is next? So let, let me demonstrate my presentation then. Uh -huh, Galia. Mm -hmm. oh. uh,
So I will. I also try to speak uh, quickly and ask some questions for the students. I want to talk about the role of imagination and literature. Uh, it's a very important uh, part of literature because imagination makes literature very interesting, as we know, and imagination uh, make any impossible things to possible. Uh, and um, <clears throat> There is a way to improve uh, creative abilities in our uh, minds. Uh, for example, uh, <clears throat> place an increased focus on multi multidisciplinary thinking, where students are taught to make cross uh, links and see problems from different uh, angles and contexts. And we should encourage our students to not be passive uh, of informative, but to be involved in creative process as active uh, doers. And thirdly, is uh, provide uh, for forums for other imagination enabling activities. So this can include self-reflection, cre creative writing, listening to inspiring uh, and imagining oneself in creative films or books and so on. And as uh, Gudnov said, we also uh, to build um, our to bring imagination. Yeah, in order to bring imagination, we should also make uh, some. We must uh, our students must uh, make up some stories. Yeah, uh, for example, including some verbs or some words. So, uh, and I, I, I will. I would uh, to ask some questions for students. First is talk about the six capacity uh, of imaginative, imaginative teaching. Who wants to answer? Yeah, Nilufar. Uh, so first uh, is identities, unusual ideas and activities. Uh, and uh, the second is uh, constructs a learning uh, appurtenances that uh, lead effectively towards well artistic understanding for uh, particular students. And the search, uh, uh, the third uh, utilizes the teacher's knowledge and the judgment. And the four is uh, flexible and uh, adaptive in response to the unique demands of practice. Uh, and uh, the five uh, respects the explorative uh, open inputs and um, uh, instinctful nature of art and the last one is uh, little and uh, motivating and is a model for people's uh, people's own imaginative efforts in art is, is, is this happening only with no no no. No, no 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 i'm hearing new oh, oh, oh. as a rock Wait, we also, we also, I think you have a problem with your phone or with your Zoom, but I tried to listen to you carefully and you talked about the six uh, capacities of imaginative teaching. Thank you for your answer. And the second uh, question is, what is the, uh, how do you think, what is the aim of imagination? Just uh, give your opinion. Yeah. What Can is I give aim? my opinion, Khalia? Yeah, just mean I... Uh, so, <clears throat> in this course, in this lesson, we uh, learn about the imag imagination because we have to develop the uh, creative ideas, creative uh, things of our uh, generation. I mean, uh, students also have to uh, have to be able to uh, create something new. Uh, for example, literature stories. Yes, and uh, it's also. Um, it's also make us to be creative because imagination helps us to create, to uh, to think in mind. Else, for example, when you read the book, you also imagine uh, what happens. Yes, in your brain, you have you draw something in your in your brain, and uh, it's very really interesting because it can help us to develop our skills and uh, to try to be creative. So I think that's like this. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Thank you, Jasmina, for your answer. And the third question is, how, we, how will uh, you bring imagination to your classroom, yeah, if you be, if you will the teacher? Yeah, when you uh, teach literature, for example, what sh should you do? Yeah, what will you do? 
form to answer? Uh, you may uh, uh, you may um, bring uh, or you may put some kind of flashcards, maybe yes, about the fairy tales, maybe uh, to um, to be clear what are you going to uh, talk about, or you can uh, role play. They can, uh, for example, one boy or people can be a um, can be a um, for example. A father and one be can be a uh, how to say mm. uh, yeah one one of the heroes of this literature of this story so like this and warm up with a prompt and I listen to the podcast wow. yeah thank yeah. you thank you for your for your answer and I think that is all uh, my question is over and Dana, can you should you should start? Teacher, I have finished my presentation and uh, to ask my question. And okay, teacher, can I start? The first thing I want to say uh, what is an imaginative literature? A work of image Imaginative literature is a presentational symbol of human feeling or experience, a verbal uh, presentation of an imaginary world in which imaginary beings engage in imaginary acts and process. And imaginative literature describes the various imaginative forms of literature, includes uh, fantasies, myths, and legends, and fairy tales and also uh, fables. And I have I prepared a game about Im imaginative literature. Mm -hmm. And I have questions about mm -hmm. imagination, imagination and there are eight rounds. You can choose any of them you want to choose. Can I? Can I? Uh, first bit. Oh. Okay. What is imaginative literature? What are some good examples of it? Um. Imaginative literature depends from reality and uh, uses uh, imagination as a principal literature uh, device. And uh, mm -hmm. what's uh, some good example of the, it? Uh, I think uh, that the two uh, greatest examples of um, uh, imaginative uh, literature are animal form and um, Gulliver's travel. Um, Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you for your uh, answer. Can I? You can choose again if if you want. Can I choose? Yeah, can I? Yeah, Galia. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the red uh, third 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 one. Third. Yeah. A highly imaginative story that contains magic creatures or other supernatural heroes and etc. Which one is it? Fantasy, mm. fable, or myth? Fantasy, maybe. Let's check it. Fantasy, you are right. Farah, the next. Farah. Yellow too. Yellow too. A fantasy is a story mm -hmm. which has been passed on from person to person. Is it true? No, it's false. Yes, it's false. Uh, do you know a correct mm -hmm. answer? A story which has been passed on from person to person. Okay, it's legend. 
Next one. Can I? Can I choose? Yeah. Jasmine. Red. Uh, Red four. Red four. A major type of literature that makes use of imagery, uh, figurative language, and sometimes rhyme, rather than paragraph. Paragraphs, it's written in stanzas. Is it drama, informational, or poetry? It is uh, poetry. Poetry. Right. Can I shoot? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I said. Red three. It's three. But. I don't know, Louis. It chooses. Come on. Oh. Red five. Red five. What is an imaginative person? Uh, imaginative person? Uh, it is a person whose mind is uh, filled many ideas. And we can also say uh, things about what could happen in the things people are uh, say are impossible. So. Is it right? Yeah, right. Can I? Who want to choose? May I choose, please? Can I, choose? Yeah, Can I interrupt you? Students, can you hear me? Yeah, we can yes. hear you. Dilnura. Yeah, we can. My warning is addressed to you. If you won't come back to your place, I will mark you as a as an absent student. You just turn it on your video and left our classes. Dilnura. So Dilnura is absent today. Inform her about it, okay? Galia. Okay, okay. So you may continue. Can I choose? Can I choose? You hear me? Yes, Done. you can, Tarza. I can see you. Who's screen? Okay, I think Tara left a uh, yellow. Uh, yellow. Tarza. First, first yellow. This. Yellow. The literature. How many Rosa. forms does uh, the literature of imagination have? Five. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, first, fantasy, fairy tale, uh, myth, uh, legend, mm -hmm. uh, fable. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yes. Ali Khanova Dilnura, can you hear me? Please continue, please. Have you finished? Baba Khanova, have you finished? Not yet. Okay, I think all of us know this. No, 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 no. How do you think? Is it fable or legend, myth or fantasy? Finding Nemo. Um, fantasy? Fable? Yes. Fable. Is fable. I think Dana has bad connection. Mm. Can I, can I start? Can I start? Can I start? Yes. 
finding new motivation. Teacher. Okay. Teacher, Teacher That's all I have finished. Thanks a lot. Who's next? Me. Nora, have the magic Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I have a test. How many types does an imagination have? Um, five. Five, seven, two. Five? Seven? Seven. 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 Visual. 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 Visual imagination. Right. So you, you perceive it gold and mountain uh, in the past. You remember them. You join them on the picture. The image of a gold mountain. This is called? Of course. Imagination. Imagination, imagination of course. Right. Imagination. In passive imagination, the mind is doesn't make, doesn't make, does not any, make any effort to picture the image. The image. Okay. Mm. When we read stories, novels, dramas, poems, history, geography, travels, uh, we have what kind of imagination? Receptive, Receptive. Receptive. imagination. Receptive. <laughs> The last one. What is the imagination? Ability to produce and articulate novel objects, change sensations mm -hmm. and ideas in the mind. A, I think. A. Yes. A. Right. The student shows the power of constructive imagination. In the imagination, he manipulates real objects and thinks about certain objects and combines them in his own way. Storytelling. Storytelling. Story Story right. That's all. Okay. Okay, dear students. So. Sure. Um, your test was very attractive. So dear students, we are short in time. We have less than a minute. So it was very good to see your presentations. And next time, try to give more information about the materials that you have learned, okay? okay. Do not, do not uh, work on the repetitions because all of your presentations was about the same, the same thing. Try to find out new information about the given materials. Okay. Thanks a lot.